Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kero and today I'm here to admit that I was completely wrong about Baldur's Gate 3. See, about a month ago, before both Baldur's Gate 3 and Starfield came out, I made a video titled Why Starfield Will Beat Baldur's Gate 3 for the Game of the Year. And my point was that, hey, Baldur's Gate 3, I already played the early access, it's absolutely amazing and it's gonna be even better when the full game comes out. But Starfield is just so much bigger. In terms of the mainstream attention it's gonna get because it's a Bethesda game and Bethesda is one of the biggest dogs out there. So what I said was never about Baldur's Gate being better or worse than Starfield, it was simply a popularity contest and Starfield was just going to be more popular, that's... <laughs> that's what I thought. And then Baldur's Gate 3 came out and I gotta say it's one of the best games that I've played ever. Like I cannot praise Baldur's Gate 3 enough. Sure it has a couple of, well, issues such as the endless amount of inventory management or the very messy Act 3. And there's also an argument that this game, unlike Starfield, had the opportunity to be in early access, in other words, beta test, for two years, maybe even more than that if I'm remembering this correctly. With all that being said, when Baldur's Gate 3 launched truly, when the majority of the players who wanted to play the game got their hands on it, it was just in an absolutely amazing state. But the real kicker was what happened just a couple of days after the game came out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was not something that was predicted by you, me, nor anybody else in the entire world. Not even the developers thought this would happen. Due to its quality, just the sheer amazingness of it, Baldur's Gate 3 has just destroyed, just took over the entire games media for a good two weeks. Praise upon praise. And let me tell you, I'm happy to hear all of that. Because this game and the developers behind it truly deserve it. And then a month after that, we had Starfield come out. And I gotta say, it's a good game. It definitely is. But while playing Starfield, I had the same exact feeling I had when I was playing Fallout 4. Disappointment. In my humble opinion, although this game is pretty fun and the insane amount of content in it, I think kinda begets its uh, selling price, it has a lot of problems still. I'm not just talking about the bugs, but the game design, the UI, some of the minor, most basic features, fundamental features that should be in a game in 2023 is not in the game and instead the devs are saying, oh, we heard you, they're gonna come in with a patch. I mean, I went through this same excited bullshit with a W fight forever so I'm not gonna get into it now but all I'll say is this feels less intuitive than than Skyrim which came out over 10 years ago you should be moving forward not going backwards Bethesda anyway that's a whole other video in and of itself so I won't get into it too much but that's how I felt and that's how a lot of other people feel as well some people love it some people will defend this game to the death I mean, I saw someone defending Dying Light 2 for its microtransactions the other day, so, you know. At the end of the day, we can call Starfield a divisive game. There are some people who hate it, there are some people who like it, like me, but feel there's a whole bunch of problems that definitely should not be here in 2023. And there are some people who love it. Regardless of all of that, the effect this game has brought upon us is one filled with suspicion. I mean, Baldur's Gate 3 also had its naysayers. But when you look at the overall sentiment for Baldur's Gate 3, you're gonna see it's much more positive. You're gonna see a lot of people calling this the dream game. Like, when I was a kid, this is the sort of game that I imagined being able to play. Larian Studios managed to do that. For me as well, like, while I was playing Baldur's Gate 3, even at Act 3, I was like, what the hell? How did you guys do that? This is incredible. This doesn't feel real. How am I playing this? That's what I felt for a long time while playing that game and I felt the same exact thing back in the day when I was playing Skyrim like what is this this is insane with Starfield again like I said it feels like they're stuck in 2011 and they made in all honesty a worse game than Skyrim I mean let me tell you something what's that oh this video has 1 million dislikes now at this point I'm <laughs> I'm used to it so with all that said Starfield still got played by more than over a million people. I think um, Baldur's Gate 3 stopped somewhere around 800,000, which again is absolutely insane. But I was expecting Starfield to be a lot better than it is. I wasn't expecting it to revolutionize the gaming industry, 
But again, I was expecting at least something on the level of Skyrim, which they made over 10 years ago, or something a step above that, but no. So with that huge popularity of Baldur's Gate 3 and the fact that Starfield has left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths, the game field has completely changed. One month ago, if you asked me, I would say Starfield would be the game of the year. Now, now I think it's going to be Baldur's Gate 3. In fact, if it doesn't happen, I'd be extremely surprised. There's going to be riot on the streets and you know what? I'm going to be joining them. So yeah, I said it in the beginning of the video. I'll say it right now as we're ending things. I was absolutely wrong about Baldur's Gate 3 and I could not be any happier. Anyways, let me say this one more time. I actually like Starfield. I am enjoying my time with it. I've already put over 50 hours in it. It is in no way, shape or form a bad game, a terrible game, nothing like that. It's a good game. I was just expecting it to be a lot better. Maybe now I'll be stabbed with one less pitchfork, but uh, I don't know. That's going to be it for me. What do you think about this subject? Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you find it in your heart, give me a like because for this video especially, I think I'm going to need a lot of them. And yeah, that's it. Take care of yourself.